Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about top five mistakes that new auto digitizers often make. I would say it took me about nine months to fully feel comfortable within the hatch embroidery digitizing software. So I was able to make a list of five mistakes that hopefully will help you get comfortable in the software much quicker. Okay, so number one on the list is rushing. I do not recommend rushing you guys. Everyone always tells me that they take forever to digitize and that's okay. That's really how it should be. You should be taking as long as you need to digitize. Do not rush because I promise you, if you rush the art of digitizing, you will have inconsistencies in your final embroidered outcome. So sit back, relax, get a snack, play some nice music and get it done. But just remember, there's no time limit to digitizing. Just take your time. Number two is keeping the color number count as is. When you're auto digitizing, reducing the number of colors in the design can make the entire process so much easier. My rule of thumb is count how many colors you can see in the design and make that the number. Number three is by far the most important one on the list, and that is ignoring the node count. Why you may ask? An excessive amount of nodes can drastically change the embroidered finish. It can cause gapping, it can cause rigid edges, and many, many more things. So when in doubt, reduce that node count. Number four is zooming in and out often. It's best to digitize at the same level or amount of zoom during the entire process of digitizing. If you are too zoomed in at one point of the digitizing process, you could potentially digitize something that's incredibly too small and therefore would not stitch out well at all once it's embroidered. Number five, the last one on the list is a low quality image. This one should really go without saying because most people want the most high quality image when, it, when they bring it into Hatch, but you'd be surprised a lot of people try and use blurry images. Now, this isn't to say that it can't be done because it definitely can be, but in the beginning stages when you're just learning how to digitize, you'll definitely appreciate how much easier it is to digitize with a clear image. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. I try my best to make digestible digitizing content because I know how frustrating the whole process can be. Please comment below any other video topics you'd like me to go over in the near future. And until next time.